Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. In this lesson, we are going to discuss the amazing Content Aware Move tool. Now, along the way, we're going to discuss a few other really, really valuable tools as well, as far as some more advanced selection and then also some advanced type of modification of your selection. So, in this example, I would like to move this bird up here in the sky. Now certainly I could copy and paste it and I could do a clone stamp, I could do all kinds of different things, but Photoshop has an amazing algorithm that's going to be aware of where this bird was, when I moved it, and where it's going to ultimately live. All right. So the first thing we have to do is select our object of what we want to move. Okay. So. I'm going to show you a really nice tool. Some of you have probably already seen our lasso tool for just selecting all around it. Some of you have probably also seen the quick selection tool, but I really like this object selection tool. So when I choose that now, and I just move my mouse right on top of that, I click on it, and you can see, bam, it understands that's the object I want. I don't have to fiddle with it. I don't have to click and drag. I don't have to do anything too fancy, choose colors, anything like that. It knows exactly what I want to do. Now I'm going to show you the Content Aware Move tool, and we're going to see that it gets it, but it doesn't get it perfectly. I'm going to show you some nuance around this. All right, so where does my Content Aware Move tool live? It lives with all of my other touch-up tools, like my spot healing and my patch and all this good stuff here. And you can see there this is, Content Aware Move. All right, now when I choose that, I just want you to notice I have some options here. I have Move as my option here, and I have this Transform as Drop. I'm not going to have that chosen right there. I'm going to bring it back to its default here, which I think this should just be for here. And then our color, we're going to keep that as is. Okay, so if yours doesn't look like this, we're going to go and make them all look like that. Because we have two modes here. We can move it and we can extend it. And we're going to learn about both of those. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and move this. My client says, hey, listen, I don't want the bird down there. It doesn't make any sense. He should be up there with his friend up there. All right, so easily. I'm just going to click and drag, move that up there. And now, wait for it. And you can see it's moved it, right? That's pretty great. But look what it also did. It left this little sort of ghost shadow around there. So I'm going to go ahead and undo and talk about how we can address this. Because if we really zoom in, we'll see that as great as that object selector was, right? it didn't, doesn't really get down to like this sort of atomic level of it. So what we have to do, very simply, is go over to here to Select, Modify, and Expand. And all I'm going to do now is expand this by like maybe three or four pixels. right? So it's going to go a little bit around the outside of it. So it also gets some of the sky and everything, but it's not so perfectly on the line as it is right now. Great. So now I've just expanded it, and maybe some of you saw how like the little marching ants went a little bit along the outside. Now, great, I'm going to choose my content to wear, and I'm just going to go ahead and drag that up. And we're going to see what a great job it's going to do. No ghost left behind, and you can see how perfectly it just fits right in there. And then notice how it filled in all of its background the way that it was because it's aware of all the content that's there. That's where the content aware part comes in, where it's aware of all these clouds and the blue sky and all that stuff, and it just fills it in as if that bird was never there. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to undo that, and we'll go ahead and keep this selection. And this time we're going to go a little bit deeper and we're going to choose a different mode within this tool, and we're going to choose extend because guess what? I might want to have this thing moved, but then I also want to have it moved someplace else and kind of taking everything elsewhere. And that's going to be the extending part. But I also want to go to another level and transform it when it becomes moved. So very simply, all I'm going to do is click on Transform on Drop. All right, so let's just see what that's going to look like. I have Extend, I have Transform on Drop. So now let's go ahead and just drag them up here. And you'll notice that as soon as I let go, I get this little bounding box that appears here. That's where my transform on drop comes in, giving me the ability to now transform this to make it a little bit bigger. I can rotate if I want to, have him go in a different direction. He's just going to look a slight bit different than he was when he was down here. But now when I click on the check mark, you're going to see 
I'm now going to have two of them and it perfectly fits right in there and it looks like a very different bird. Okay, let's go ahead and hit select and then deselect and now we can see what we have there. Now just a little side note working with this object selection tool, I just want you to notice that when I move my mouse over certain objects, it gets it and certain ones it doesn't. Okay, you see that? Yeah, you can see that it's getting it, it's getting it, not getting it. Okay, you see it's kind of strange sometimes. All right, so what I like to do is actually change the mode for this, right? So object finder is chosen, right? And I'm just going to use like this lily pad, for example. And just notice when I go to this rectangle tool, it's going to be a little smarter than it is just by kind of hovering over it. So you can see I'm just going to kind of do that. And now you can see it's going to find the object built in there. You can see just like that. Okay, I'm just going to hold down the shift key. I can do another one. Okay, you can see, bam, I got that. I'll go ahead and do one more. Hold down the shift key. Okay, bam, got that. Now, with these selected, I can then move these lily pads someplace else. All right, let's just go ahead and do that one more time. I'll just move them back a little bit. And you can see all three of these guys are now selected. Move them over back to here. You can see did a pretty good job but again coming back to that same thing I said before in terms of working with our extra modification. So I'll go back over to here to select go to modify and then I'm going to go ahead and say expand. I'll bring that up maybe a little bit more this time. I'm going to say six. Great. Go ahead and try that one more time and we should be good. Okay, so this is sort of a multi-lesson on a number of different tools. So I just want to make sure that you're comfortable using this sort of like footnoted tool of working with our object selector and then also those additional expansions to make sure we get it and how we can work with things. Because sometimes we can be surprised that it works with certain things and doesn't work with other things. So there are kind of like different nuances to them. All right, so practice all that and See you in the next lesson. Thanks, everybody. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.